This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think of see analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I mean, it gives a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, QQQ was in a tier in the aftermarket because of Meta and Amazon. Even though Apple had a pullback, Meta and Amazon have been running. And that has pushed QQQ up like $4.50 in the after hours. It's absolutely crazy. Meta is up $67 after earnings and Amazon is up $10 after earnings. Listen, everybody knows by now, if you follow my channel, that I love QQQ. That is my stock. That is my go-to. That is, I do a lot of plays with QQQ because... I think I understand that stock. I think I understand it. I think I know it. I like the palm of my hand. And not that it's easy to read, but the Bullinger Bands give you a really good indication of where that stock is going. And then, you know, you got the EMA and you got the, the MACD and you got the RSI. But the other factors... When you make, when you decided how to play QQQ, is Meta, Amazon, and Apple. Whenever you, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any of these stocks. I'm not telling you to make any plays. I'm just telling you what I do. When I decide to do my put credit spread or my call credit spreads, I look at the Bullinger Bands. The Bullinger Bands give me a very good indicator as to what direction QQQ is going to go in. And then I double check that data by looking at Apple. I look at Meta. I look at Amazon and Google. And then I utilize that to make a determination of how I want to play. How I want to move forward with the QQQ play. QQQ and SPY are ETFs that, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, great ways to make weekly income. First of all, their expiration dates are every single day, five times a week. So you have the opportunity to make money with QQQ and SPY five times a week. If you learn QQQ and SPY, you can make, in my opinion, a nice, steady, weekly income with hardly any risk whatsoever. And once again, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell QQQ. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell SPY. What I'm telling you is this. When you have ETFs that have big dogs in them, it is not impossible, but more difficult for the bad actors to manipulate these stocks. I mean, very, very more difficult. Okay? Extremely more difficult. Is it impossible? Of course not. Nothing is impossible with criminals. Criminals always seem to find a way until they are arrested and locked up. I mean, that's, that's just the way they operate. That's just the way they operate. But I believe that if you take QQQ, $1,000, and you make 5% weekly, you would be a millionaire in under 36 months. I'm going to put out a video in more detail about that because a lot of people have been asking me. So I, I'm going to put out a video with more detail exactly how I do it. And I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm telling you what I am currently doing in a, a little bet with a buddy of mine that I can go from a thousand to a million dollars in under 36 months just utilizing QQQ and compound interest. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey.